everybody. I have two journal shares for you today. And one is a pretty pretty long, long one, and the other one is chunky. Let's get started. We'll do the long one first. And this journal is 7 by 10, and it has two signatures and 128 pages or there around. It's tied with sari silk. And um, I have vintage lace on here, and I have snippets of sari silk with lace and some muslin and snippets of decorations on top with buttons and flowers and sari silk. Okay, now inside here I have, uh, and the papers are, this is a hardcover book. It's actually a book that I gave new life to and it has Tim Holtz papers in there. And in the first pocket, I have some ephemera with some paper dolls and, and different decorations. And these pages are kind of different from what I usually do. It's basically, a lot of these pages are made from a coloring book slash picture book. So some of the pictures you color and some are pictures and it was pretty fun to make. And I have some lace on some of the pages. And I have Tracy Fox Ephemera in here. And like I said, a lot of the pages are Tim Holtz. And I have snippets with the butterflies and paper dolls throughout. So these are pages that are I colored. And some of them were and I have some stamping on here, and some were already colored. Coffee dyed papers, and Tina, Tina from Shabby Dabby. I have some of her ephemera in here. Now this page here was one that was colored. It was a picture book, as this one is about peacocks. And I have a fold out over here with uh, a postal, a postal ephemera that I made and a journaling card with some more stamping and a flip envelope with a journaling card. And there, there were a lot of... Uh, journaling pages here for you. And here's another material snippet with uh, with vintage lace and I have a, a Tim Holtz well I don't know if it's Tim Holtz but it's the uh, the bulb fastener with the flower. Butterflies. I believe that was already a printed page as that one. Lots of stamping and coffee dyed papers and material snippets. Snippets are fun to make. You just make a couple of big long couple of yards worth and then use them in your journals as you think needed. Journaling card and another little postal envelope I believe these are Tina's Tina's butterflies some more Tim Holtz people this is this is vintage this was from my mother-in-law's uh, curtains and I have the the bulb fastener with the button on that Another journaling card and some Tracy Fox tea cards. Some stamping and washi tape. A 
And like I said, there's a lot of journaling places here. Oh, here's a big flip out. I don't know if I can get it all in camera. Little journaling cards in here. Some tea cards, Tracy Fox tea cards, and another postal. Okay, so we have that on both sides. Oh. <laughs> okay, we'll get this back together. There we go. We have some stamping. Some more lace. The tea, the coffee dyeing is so yummy. Some more of the, uh, my mother-in-law's lace and Tracy Fox ephemera there. And on the back cover we have some journaling cards and some more ephemera. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, now this one here, I love it. it this is a I was gifted coffee at Christmas time, and of course it's all gone now, but it was from the Black Rifle Coffee Company, and um, it's veteran-owned, and it's just gorgeous. I love this. It has, it is four and a half by seven and a half inches, and there's four signatures, and there's probably around 256 pages in here, and I have it tied with sorry silk and I just have lace on it and I had I reinforced the bind the uh, the binding here and I have it these are the uh, signatures are sewn they're sewn in but they come out because I have them on the elastic I love doing journals that way so when you when you open it up I have uh, a pocket here with two journaling cards. This was from Tina, these journaling cards. Okay, let's get these back in here in a postcard. And here's my snippet ephemera with lace and buttons and sari silk and Tim Holtz paper I use and tons of fluffy dye paper and I have a little pocket here and I sewn around my journaling cards and Tracy Fox ephemera this is a big chunky card of journal big chunky journal and I have coffee papers in here also, Tina's ephemera. Oh, you can tell I like coffee. Coffee dyed papers. And some more ephemera. Here's some more journaling cards and the little fold-out postals. More material snippets with muslin and sari silk and lace. And two T 
two cards inside here with Tracy Fox. Little tickets there. Some more Tina snippets. Coffee papers. Like I said, this is a big, chunky journal. It's a nice postcard. Huh, this paper here. This here was put in upside down. I did that for interest. <laughs> Actually, I didn't do it on purpose. This is the third journal, the end of the third journal. I have a fold out over here. This is from a wildflower book, and I have Tracy Fox labels in here. Both of these fold out. Coming down the home stretch of the fourth signature. This journal should last a while because there is so much writing in here, so many journaling places. And I have another journal card and the postal card. A postal envelope. And here you go, another tuck spot and a journaling card on the back. I love this. Another journaling card, and coffee paper back there. So there you have it. This is my chunky coffee journal and thank you for watching I hope you like these if you'd like to leave me a comment below please do so and I'll see you soon okay bye bye